Alright, so I've got two special edition packages here for the Pirates of the Caribbean pocket model game. This package here has the Sea Nymph, and this one has the HMS Phoenix. I actually did get this package with the Sea Nymph here back in the day, and I still have that one here, although it's missing the back sail. So when I found this sealed for a good price, I decided I should get it. And the first thing I want to point out is these are a lot bigger than I expected they'd be based on the pictures. They look to be a little bit bigger than the average booster pack size. However, putting a ship card up next to it shows you that it's much, much bigger. And we are going to start with the Sea Nymph this video, just because I did have that one when I was younger. So it's a little bit more nostalgic for me. And as you can see by this large sticker on the front, these retailed for $10. And we can just get a look at the sides here. Pretty cool package. And then the back says, Jump aboard great vessels like the Flying Dutchman and the Black Pearl and set sail with Captain Jack Sparrow, Will Turner, Elizabeth Swan, and Captain Barbosa in a fight to claim the most treasure. This box contains six ships, three island terrain cards, or island slash terrain cards, three crew or treasure cards, complete game rules, one die, and a bonus pre-assembled special edition ship. So I imagine that means that it's going to have three of the booster packs inside in addition to this ship, so we shall see what it looks like. It opens from the top here and it's pretty beat up, but it does look like everything's in there, so that's okay. And this display piece just pulls out like that. It's attached to the top with this uh, twist tie here. So you can just unhook that. Don't want to damage the ship. There we go. Number 94, the Sea Nymph. And then on the inside here, um, it actually looks like they're not in packages. That's quite strange to me. Okay, so here's what we've got. And it's got one uh, full-size die, so that's cool because all the other ones are miniature. And this is strange. Um, it's got all the punch out cards for the scene, but since it's already constructed, they're actually sealed. Um, pretty interesting to see a sealed card that's already punched out. I might leave it like that for now. We'll see. And then we also have the sealed pack here that looks like it has some more cards. We've got Cursed Captain Barbosa there. I'm a little bit worried that it might be exactly the same as the one I got when I was younger, in which case I'd have all these cards and ships. But we shall see. Alright. So first up, got Cursed Captain Barbosa. He is a rare. And then the Pirata Codex, um, also a rare. And the Jollymon, also a rare. The HMS Dauntless, a five-masted rare ship. Yeah, and it does look like these are all ships that I have already. Um, Amon the Corsair, that's actually one I don't have. And Cotton's Parrot, okay, so something new. And then Captain Barbosa. Hey, the HMS Victor, a common ship, but one that I don't have, so that's good. And then the HMS Hound, I think I actually already have two of these, but oh well. And then Lord Cutler Beckett, um, I believe I have him, but we can check. And then we've got Marty, got plenty of him. The Dragon, I have one of those. The Seraph, I have one of those. And then we've got the Checklist, the Instructions, the Win a Trip to Disney World insert. And this is actually different than the uh, What Kind of Pirate Are You? So that's kind of cool. And it said it had three islands, but I'm counting two here, unless we set one aside. Doesn't look like it. I mean, not a big deal. I have plenty of islands, but that's interesting. Said it came with three, but we've got two. Alright, so here are our seven ships. First up here, we've got the Common Seraph, a pretty good galley. And we've got the Common Dragon, another okay galley. Um, it's got a lot of cargo space, which is always good for gold running. Then we have the HMS Hound. Um, these are all pretty good mid-range ships. Not much else to them. Um, then we have the HMS Victor, which is a decent uh, mid-range fighting ship for the price, and one that I didn't have, so I was glad to get that. 
Although I'm honestly surprised I even got new ships at all because I figure with the rest of these being the same that all seven ships in the pack would be the same, but for some reason that one is different than one that I've gotten before. Um, then we have the HMS Dauntless, a very good fighting ship and just a good five-mast rare ship all around, especially for the price and that perk there. And then we have the Jollymon, a rare one-mast ship, and I just love it so much because it only costs one point and it's just so bad. Um, but me and my friends always love to pick this one as our last uh, point just because we can. And then we have the reason we're here, the Sea Nymph, which is a special edition four mass ship, and it just looks very, very cool. Um, pretty close to the Flying Dutchman with that weathered and ghostly look. And then its abilities are it can dock at an enemy home island and load one treasure. If able, she must leave on your next turn. And then its cannons are just okay, kind of high values there. Um, cargo, not great. L, mm, not great movement either. Price point is decent. I mean, honestly, this isn't that great of a ship, but still cool just because of how it looks and the fact that it's a special edition ship. So here are our two islands. Again, we were promised three. We got two. Oh, well, it's interesting to me. Then for our crew, we've got Curse Captain Barbosa and then regular Captain Barbosa and Lord Cutler Beckett. And he is useful because he is tied to all English ships. Then we've got the Pirata Codex. Um, I'm on the Corsair, and it says when this ship hits another ship, you choose which mast is eliminated. So that's one that I didn't have. And Cotton's Parrot on this side. Once per turn, the ship can randomly take one treasure from any ship she touches. So again, pretty cool. And then Marty, another common. And yeah, that's what you get in one of these $10 packs. I think I didn't really need to get this one again because I already had most of these ships and artifacts. However, if you're just starting out, this does provide a good variety of ships to get the game going. And now we're going to be taking a look at the HMS Phoenix in the next video.